he finally resigned from the last place in America that would employ him. The last place, of course, except the White House. So as we all know, if Matt Gates were actually just uh, pushing a mop or he was working at an Amazon warehouse um, and probably telling his coworkers not to unionize, if he were an average person and he had the allegations against him and the misconduct, he would not be hired. He would be fired by this uh, over these things. But of course, he is a congressperson or was up until a little bit earlier this week. And it seems like he's jumping from one job to the next. And the next job might be attorney general for the United States. Because the Health Ethics Committee was about to release a report critical of Matt Gates today. And then they were like, mm, maybe not. They've been investigating allegations that Representative Matt Gates engaged in sexual misconduct and illicit drug use and was prepared to vote to release a highly critical report about Mr. Gates on Friday, according to a Republican familiar with the matter. The release would have come two days after President-elect Donald Trump selected to be was selected to be attorney general. And a couple days after he was re abruptly resigned from his House seat on Wednesday, ending the ethics investigation that has hung over his head. In other words, you can only have the ethics investigation hanging over you if you are a sitting congressperson. So he just resigned and was like, later is onwards and upwards, um, but enough about my facelift. Um, Mr. Gates, the official said, had repeatedly offered combative replies to questions posed by the committee, effectively delaying the fact-finding process for months. The publication of the committee's findings was additionally delayed, the official said, because a House rule that forbids releasing a negative report close to an election people it's just it's just like you know what they have so many ways of padding their power it's wild well we can't release the report during an election year or on a full moon or when i'm about to receive a briefcase of cash from the oil executives or when my daughter has a ballet class like it's amazing Right after I trade stocks as a sitting congressperson, but only a few, a year after my co-conspirator, Joel Greenberg, finishing his sentence out for being a sex pest. Uh, and a fraudster. Uh, Mr. Gates, the official said, had repeatedly offered combative replies to questions posed by the committee. Um, yada, yada, yada. Now, with Mr. Gates's departure from Congress, the committee no longer has jurisdiction to investigate him. It was not immediately clear whether it would still release its findings. I mean, why? Right? Why would you really, you know, it's good for him, you know? Good. Now that you've been promoted, we won't, we'll just tuck this away. Isn't that how anything works? That's that's how justice works. I mean, I think every time a, con a convicted criminal um, sits before a judge, they say, look, I could either sentence you to these amount of years or you could get a raise. If you can get a raise, if you're like going to be somebody, you know, if you're going to be important or whatever... Who am I to keep you down? You, can, you can't be in jail while you're trying to be the attorney general. You can't be in jail while you're trying to be the president. Ah, oh, boy, people. What are we, what are we doing? Um, the expected release on Friday was reported earlier. Um, Republicans in Congress expressed shock in Mr. Gates' selection to be attorney general. Mr. Gates who led the successful effort. It's funny, though, a lot of them are like, we'll get to it. For two years, the Justice Department looked into allegations that he had an inappropriate sexual relationship with a 17-year-old girl and possibly violated federal sex trafficking laws. So this 17-year-old, we've talked about her before on the show, she testified before Congress, and she's testified many, many different times that, yes, she had sex with Matt Gates when she was underage, that she was at a party or she was at a party where there were underage girls who were naked and um, 
there was drugs, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, it's just so disgusting. It's so gross. Still, the ethics committee opened an inqu inquiry in 2021, along with claims that Mr. Gates misused state identification records, converted campaign funds to personal use, accepted impermissible gifts under house rules, and shared inappropriate images or, or videos on the house floor, among other transgressions. In other words, perfect for a Trump administration. Mr. Gates has tried to see that's the thing about Kevin McCarthy. Like Kevin really failed when he didn't show enough, like enough nudes, like enough nudes from his phone, like to, to other members of Congress on the house floor. Like that's really what did him in. Um, I can, Oh my God. Can you imagine like poor Olivia Nuzzi? Because now that RFK is part of the, the White House like and the administration, everybody going to be seeing those photos. Everybody going to be seeing those photos. Uh, Mr. Gates has tried to turn the allegations against him into a badge of honor. I'm the most investigated man in the United States Congress, he said of the ethics inquiry. Yeah, oh, God, I can't believe they're wearing their... Why can't we like why can't like a progressive or a le or a liberal a democrat get investigated over like doing some good shit? Yes, I printed money and gave it out to a bunch of uh kids with uh cancer. Investigate me. There was a 17-year-old involved. They had leukemia and I helped them. Speaker Mike Johnson, Republican of Louisiana, announced Mr. Gates' resignation at a news conference on Wednesday after House Republicans chose their leaders for the next Congress. Mr. Johnson said he had called on Reverend uh, Reverend Gon DeSantis. That's what I'm. Reverend Reverend He's Reverend Ron. De he's Reverend Gon DeSantis of Florida to start the process for scheduling a special election to fill the seat. Mr. Trump told Mr. Johnson of his decision to tap Mr. Gates earlier in the day, shortly before he took the stage to briefly address. And congratulate the Republican office. Um, I begged and pleaded with the new president enough already. Okay. Um, because our numbers are small. So this is funny because Congress needs 218 to pass now to pass anything. And don't, I don't know if the numbers are exact, but they need 218 and they have 222, I believe with Gates and 221 without him. That means you've got to pick off three Republicans, which isn't that hard to do um, to get some legislation passed, especially if it's like good. So Republicans are scared um, and Democrats should be happy. Um, however, his colleagues, some of them are giddy. Uh, most people are giddy to get him giddy about it. Get him out of here, said Representative Max Miller, Republican of Ohio, Speaking about his GOP colleagues who were gathered to vote in leadership positions, he said Mr. Trump had plenty of other good options for nominees, but probably went with Mr. Gates to reward his loyalty. Yes, indeed. Um, before Mr. Gates' resignation was publicly announced, Mr. Miller suggested, you know, what? here's the thing about Gates. I do. If we don't, if I don't. Let me, let me, let me, let me just say this. If I don't hear. A Marjorie Green or a Lauren Boebert anytime soon, I'm calling sexism. Okay? These women have been out here dancing for you. They have been doing every kind of jig for you. They have been laying it all on the line for you. They've got cardboard cutouts of you. They they are imitating the AOC dress with your name on it. They have done so much for you. And you like Gates is Gates is just another Bobert, another Marjorie Green. It's not fair. Cray 97 says Tulsi. Yes, Tulsi got rewarded. It's true. Stefanik got rewarded. It's true. But I'm just like Stefanik and Tulsi. I mean, Tulsi is so unquote. Like, what the what are we doing? I, I like. I truly, I truly, like, I truly think, and I, I think I need to, like, I even don't want to talk about this story because I think everyone needs to understand. The White House and the administration, yes, they're going to do awful things, but also you just put every single distraction monkey 
in one zoo. Do you know what I mean? Like every single little like you you nominated a bunch of clickbait to your administration and the media is like <laughs> like they are hyperventilating. They are freaking out. And yet we've got work to do in our communities, in the Democratic Party, in grassroots organizations, building up third parties locally. Like we have so much work to do, but they just nominated like it's like they put the re a real housewives, you know, uh, cast in the White House in this administration. And it's like, you know, there is so much distraction for days. And I don't know. I, I feel like this is also a tactic. It's like it is it's the, you know, it's the flood the zone tactic. It's it's shock doctrine. You know, it is shock doctrine if you. Again, if if it was just a bunch of glue eaters, if like you shocked everyone by like, you know, hotboxing us in like just a dome of dumb, like that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Don Sullivan backing me up. I agree with this. We need to focus on ourselves and not this nonsense. Dude, this is what I'm saying. Like, it, I know it's not nonsense once they become, you know, leaders of administration, but you, you, they're going to dismantle things. OK, it's it's not they're going to pass awful, evil legislation. So what are we going to do about and they're going to do it in the most eye grabby, pick me type way, just the way that they're doing like the doge department or whatever the fuck. like nobody fucking cares. Nobody fucking cares, dude. Stop it. Like we need to stop also being mega distracted, which is why I'm trying again to have like, you know, orange man bad segments and the hurt the, the the let's call it the hurt locker really of the trump administration and then let's focus on like good organizers activists how we can get involved what we can do things we're things we can push on locally legislatively these ballot initiatives you know donating to the to the people who are going to be bringing the litigation in states like arizona and missouri to support reproductive rights like that's the shit that we got to do that's the stuff that really matters um the rest of it is just flooding the zone so we are like i don't know which clown to talk about what's going on frantifa if you haven't already subscribe to this channel right now hit that button and also you can become a patron and support the show every single week get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise patreon.com bituation room do it